Meet Swamplenix, my Mauritania locked Ultimate Iron Man. After recently maxing my Ultimate Iron Man, I decided to up the ante. To forge my own journey from scratch. No banking, no trading, but this time, I can't leave Mauritania. All leading up to eventually taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. I have yet to cross this bridge successfully. Welcome back, by the way. I think this is where I'm starting episode two, so if you haven't seen the first episode, I'd highly recommend for you to watch that. I'm currently trying to get 15 agility to enter the haunted mine, and you know, if I could just get like one successful jump across this bridge, that's equal to like seven and a half fails, so. I dropped all my food here just so the gas wouldn't eat it. I'm gonna need a lot of food to make this happen, and honestly, I'd like to call this a short-term goal, but I still haven't made a successful jump, so for all I know, this could be taking like upwards of 20 hours, so. All right, one final fail and we get two agility. Hopefully the success rate is like noticeably higher once we get these agility levels. Uh, I don't think I'm really gonna notice anything for the first couple, but hopefully I notice later on. I think this is gonna be just about it. I don't think I can do too much more with this inventory of food. I might be able to get like 50 more XP if I'm like, actually probably not. Maybe like 30. 30 is a good guess. Just barely making it back. Dude, everything hit me a zero on my way back. It's definitely the five defense. But honestly, I got extremely lucky. Like, I should not be alive right now. Yes, Ulysses, you are absolutely correct. I have no idea how I'm alive either. Yes, this is the most important random event in the history of random events. I've been waiting for one for so long. Okay, this is, I have to take this seriously. This, uh, this could change everything. If I can get something that isn't like feathers or like only arrows or something, then I could sell them for GP and actually start to, to work on some of my goals here. All right, 68%. I literally went as fast as I could and I got 68, so I don't think I could, uh, I don't think I could have done better than that. All right, the moment of truth. That is really good. Oh, that is super, super good. I'm very, very happy with that. The, um, the runes will definitely sell for a solid amount. I don't think I'm wearing any arrows, so I'm just gonna wield these. That's cool. That's for future range training, which I, I don't think I'll be training range for a while, but this is really good. I can finally start getting some GP. I've been living on one coin for all this time. So apparently pots and buckets in this shop are only one and two coins rather than the, uh, what, two and four they were in the, uh, Canifus shop, so... 72 coins for a nature rune. That's awesome. That's so good. Uh, I think I'm gonna hop every single world. I need to get as much as I possibly can out of these, so I will hop 30 worlds and I will be right back. All right, we've got 1.1k to our name, which is 1,100 times more than I had before, so we have a lot to do with this money. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually start crafting. In order to complete Nature Spirit, which is a subquest for just about every other quest in this region, I not only need 20 smithing to make the silver bar, but I also need 18 crafting in order to craft the sickle. So what I'm going to do is work on some crafting. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to start with beer glasses and then I'll just work my way up. And I'll also get a ton of XP from actually making the glass itself. So this should be all right. That was a lot to pay for an inventory of this, but at least you get a lot of XP from it. I don't think I'll be doing that many trips because... You get 220 XP per inventory for just making the glass, and then I'll also get uh, XP for shaping it, so. There's two crafting already, what a beast. All right, there's 12 crafting, which I can now make oil lamps, and I think, I wanna test this out. I think I can actually get some of my money back here. These are gonna be like the first thing that sell for a decent amount. Uh, I've currently just been selling them for zero, so. I mean, at least I'll get some return on my money here if these sell. Three coins, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. I'll actually start getting some money back. All right, this went extremely quick. There's 18 crafting, which means I can now create the sickle. Uh, so the only thing I need now, I can also craft leather chaps. That's cool. I might actually make some, myself some armor in a bit here. Uh, but as soon as I get around to getting into the haunted mine, I unlock smithing. And then with 20 smithing, I can complete the nature spirit quest. So that agility is what's holding me back right now. So just out of curiosity, I wanted to see if this store buys things for more than the charters and the store in Canifit. Oh my god, it does. 10 coins. Yeah, the, the charters were buying it for three. So this is definitely where I'm going to go to sell stuff from now on. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I need to replenish my ecto tokens. I don't really have that many left. I've got four. So I'm just going to buy a bunch of buckets here. I've got a ton of bones from killing some chickens. Hey, look at this guy. Nice. That's a helmet, sir. Ooh, 160 GP. Very nice. All right, the big sacrifice. This could actually get me 19 prayer. I just realized this. This is a lot of prayer XP, unfortunately. 20 XP away. All right, let's claim these ecto tokens. And this is going to be, what, 55? 
Very nice. 57. I don't think I'll be entering the city that, that much since I've finished crafting now, but still good to have. Killed a couple cows on my way back, and now that I have the crafting level, I can actually make some armor, so. And we uh, discovered that this shop has a needle and thread last episode, so. All right, just the chaps, and there we go. Full set of armor besides, uh, besides a cowl, because, I don't know, I just like the the hat more, honestly, but yeah, that gives us some solid defense. Also, the red cape is only two coins, so I'm just gonna grab that as well, and we've got the full gear set up now. Hey, there's 20 strength. Very nice. I think my HP is high enough to resume agility training. I just wanted to get my stats up a bit higher because I was just getting destroyed by the snails and stuff, uh, running over to the bridge to train agility, so... Hopefully this works. I'm gonna try one out. I'm gonna try a trip. All right, that is a full trip of agility training done. I did end up making some solid progress up to four agility at the moment. I haven't seen any increase in the success percentage. I still fail all the time. I did bring back two pretty cool things though. Brought back the shell and the snail, which as soon as I get this chisel from this shop here, you're gonna see how cool this is. All right, let's use our chisel on this bad boy. And this is going to be our best in slot helmet. There we go, the snelm. And uh, this is actually more than just a pretty shitty helmet. Uh, as you can see, it has some defense bonuses, but that's not really the main thing that you get from it. It actually lowers the damage from snails in the swamp, which is like a huge portion of the damage I take, so... This is why I wanted it. I'm sad to see the hat go. It was so nice, but... Snail, on the other hand, could be my best food source. The thin snail, which is the one I have, heals anywhere from 5 to 7. So, it, I mean, it's almost twice as good as what I'm using right now, which I'll show you guys what I'm currently doing for food. So I start off my trip in Canifis, and I usually buy the chicken and the beef and just whatever other meat, it doesn't really matter. After that, I make my way to Port Phasmatis, which has the closest range. I pay the two Ecto tokens to get in, and I usually burn most of my meat, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not too great. Oh, I cooked the snail. That's so good. I was not expecting to cook that on the first try, but that's really good. After that, I have to walk from Port Phasmatis all the way to the Canifis Gate. And this is where I've just been waiting for my run to recharge, because if I don't wait for a 100 run, I just get absolutely dumpstered in the freaking uh, in the, in the swamp, so. Yeah, seven fishing. Beautiful. All right, I managed to get five agility this trip, but I don't have enough food to really do much more. Also, there's a snail camping in the bridge, so... <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to hop worlds. Another monumental discovery, my friends. 120 GP for a Snelm. That is such an amazing money maker. Yep, whenever I need money, that's what I'm doing. That's so good. You know, legend has it that scientists are currently studying this account because they are baffled at how many discoveries it has made over the past 30 minutes. Look at this. Do you know what these are? These are moonlight meads. Can you burn a moonlight mead? No. How much does it heal? Four. Does it have any debuffs? No, because it is literally the best food on the planet. And it costs five coins, and I've been cooking chicken this entire time. I have peaked. Nothing will top this at this point. So I have done a couple trips with Moonlight Mead. It has helped a ton. It's still really slow, but at the same time, it's a lot faster than it was. The only problem now is I have to make more money. So it's a good thing that I found those Snelms because uh, it's draining my cash stack a lot quicker than the chicken was. And there's nine agility. Oh, so good. Six levels to go. I've also combined this trip into two, and I've also just done as many snail kills as I possibly could, because you can probably tell that I'm running very low on money. So, uh, yeah, I have killed a bunch of snails, and as soon as I craft these, this will be like over 1k GP, so. Okay, since I have so many of these, I think the blue one is my favorite, and I'm just gonna sell the rest of them, so... This is gonna be a lot of money, very nice. And there's 10 agility on a success. Very rarely happens, but there we go. 10 agility, five levels to go. All right, here's 12 agility. Oh, of course I take a six, that was brutal. Yeah, three levels to go. I think I have plenty of money to finish this off, so very happy. I have noticed an actual increase in success for once. It's actually nice. Oh, that's a success. Yeah, 14 agility, one last level to go. That's exciting, dude. That's extremely exciting. This is so brutal, man. I've got 10 XP to go, but I have absolutely no food. I just have to wait it out. All right, we've regen to 12 HP. Let's see if this is it. No. Oh, I took a six as well. I decided to risk it, decided to stay, and uh, let's see if I can give this one more shot. No. Oh no, and I'm 2 HP. I have to sit and regen again. Alright, please, please be it. Come on, yes! 15 agility! We are done. 
that has just unlocked so much content. That has actually, this changes everything. This has just changed everything. You already know what we're doing next episode, my friends. We are exploring the haunted mine. We're getting gear upgrades. We're starting mining, smithing. We can complete nature spirit soon. Oh man, this has just opened so many doors. I'm extremely happy.